what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A video posted to Instagram and World Star Hip Hop shows a Georgia man recording himself stealing a police vehicle and taking it on a joyride. Yeah, this really happened. In the video, the man can be seen walking up to the car, left with the door open and the engine running after the officer who was driving the car jumped out to chase the suspect. Now, police say that the man returned the car before the officer even knew that it was missing. They didn't even know it had happened until somebody posted the video online. Police say that the video was taken back in July. Does it get any stranger? Hey man, you know, this actually isn't the first time something like this happened. I remember another guy, I can't remember where it was, but this dude stole a police vehicle before he stole a police car and he was cruising his ass off. He was, he, I think he was high or something like that, but I think you got to kind of be high. You got to have some type of mind altering substance to uh, make you want to steal a police car in the first place. So this dude recorded, once again, this is the age of snitching on yourself. This dude snitched on himself. It's one thing to commit a crime, but to record your crime and post it online. <sighs> Let me speak to the youngsters for a minute. I'm speaking directly to the youngsters. You ain't got something that you're good at that's positive where you can get some good wholesome praise from. I mean, like we're all human beings and we all seek attention. We all want some kind of attention. I don't care who you are. People will say, well, I don't want to be recognized and that. that's a lie. We'll be like, yeah, I don't worry about it. I can recall myself like, hey, don't make no big deal out of my birthday. Don't do all of that. I'm cool. And then somebody go out of their way to do it. And I'm very appreciative. And it feels good when people recognize you. So I get that. But here's the deal. We all have something that we're just as good or better than anybody in the world at doing. We just have to, and, and this is this is a positive trait. I ain't talking about stealing and selling dope or shooting. That ain't nothing. That don't require any specific skill. Everybody do that. You don't have to, you don't have to take any uh, strenuous courses to learn that. You don't need all that training and stuff. Anybody can do that. But I'm talking about a gift. We all got a gift and talents that we can do just as good or better than anybody else and get attention for and get money for, more importantly. We can get paid to do it. So why try to get attention by doing something stupid that's going to put you in jail or put your life in jeopardy? I don't understand. I, I mean, I just, I, I know this is a new generation. Damn, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to understand it, man. I'm trying to understand it. I know this is a new generation, but damn. I just never thought that we would reach the point to where people would record themselves committing crimes and basically putting the evidence out in public, like releasing the evidence to, pu to, to the public. I never thought we'd reach that point in society. Man, I know everybody won't clout. That's a big thing. Everybody is looking for clout. Everybody want to show, I'm the man, you know. I'm the woman. I'm the girl. I'm the boy. I'm that guy. Everybody want that clout. 
I mean, it's got to be a better way. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all when I see these things happen. It was a Tulsa man. The dude was in Tulsa. You know, when I was telling you about a little earlier about the guy who stole the police car, that was Tulsa. That happened in Tulsa. So, yeah, not the first time, won't be the last time. Maybe I need to do some type of compilation on this. When idiots steal police cars and record themselves and post it online, something like that. We'll work on the title. This has got to be the greatest generation ever produced of criminals who tell them themselves. Where they get them from? And I still don't believe it though. Dude had some type of sick fantasy of being a police officer. He wanted to know what it felt like, so he steals a police car. I think it would have been more believable had he gunned down an unarmed, innocent civilian then stopped to get some donuts, planted some drugs, and then lied about it. I would have believed that. No more talk. What, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.